Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and this is the cat named Yikes, belongs to my daughter, and this is the cat named Wookie, that belongs to my daughter. Thank you for saying hello to us, and I'm here to talk to you today about natural selection, and I'm going to use cats as an example of natural selection. The first thing that we can see, the first step of natural selection, is that there is variation in every population of every species. And so that includes cats. As you can see, there's quite a bit of variation. This one has short hair, and this one has long hair, very different colors. They're actually from the same litter, so we suspect that the father of this cat, which was the only orange one in the litter, was different from the father of the other cats in the litter, which looked pretty much like this one. Okay, so that's the first step of natural selection is that there's variation in the populations. The second step is that under certain conditions, some of these genetic variants will have more kittens than others. They will survive better and reproduce more successfully than others. And so, for instance, if the weather gets cold, then you would expect short hairs like this cat to not have as many kittens as the long hairs such as this cat. Of course, neither of these cats are going to have any kittens because they have been surgically altered, as is the case with many cats that live in houses. Now, the third step is... Whoops! There is no third step. That's it. Under cold conditions, the long-haired cats would leave more kittens in the population in the next generation. That's it. That's natural selection. Notice what has not happened in natural selection. The first is that no cats have actually changed. Every cat remained as it was, either long hair or short hair. And also notice that the population as a whole did not change in the same direction. The short-haired cat still had short-haired offspring, the long-haired cat still had long-haired offspring. And the only thing that changed was the relative abundances of long-haired and short-haired cats in the population. That's natural selection. That's evolution. That's all it is. And so this is Charles Darwin wanting to give you this simple example of natural selection. It's not actually at work in this case because these cats will not have any offspring, but they do offer pictures of what would be a very easy example of natural selection to understand. So this is Charles Darwin. Tally ho, and amen.